So in this video, I'm going to give you a mechanical reasoning test mock exam. Okay, so I'm going to give you 10 questions and you can answer them, try them yourself, and then put your answers in the comments section below the video. Uh, my name's Richard McMahon from the career guidance company howtobecome.com. Um, as I say, there's 10 questions in this mechanical reasoning test that follows. You've got just 12 seconds to answer each question. There's a timer on each question um, for you to use. Try and stick to it. I believe that you can answer them. Um, if you do get stuck at any point, obviously feel free to pause the video and take your time when responding to it. The important thing is that you get the question right. Please, as I say, put your answer to each question in the comments section below the video and I'll come on here each day on YouTube and mark them for you. So once you've completed the test, I'm going to give you free access to further mechanical reasoning test questions that will help you improve. So I'll explain some point during this video where you can get access to that. So please watch it from beginning to end. And I would very much appreciate it, guys, if you did give the video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. And like I say, put your comments um, below the video once you've gone through. OK, let's get straight into the questions. Are you ready, guys? First question. Question one, at which point or points should air enter the cylinder in order to force the piston downwards? Point A, point B, or both? And you can see the timer on the right-hand side going down, so you don't have that long. Question number two, which crane is working under the least tension? Is it crane A or crane B? Or both are the same? So which crane is working under the least tension? Okay, well done. Question number three. Which hammer is most suitable for general work with metal? One, two, three, or four. Which hammer is most suitable for general work with metal? Okay, moving on. Question number four. How much weight is required to balance the load? Okay, a little bit tougher. Is it 37.5 kilograms? 75 kilograms, 125.5 kilograms, or 150 kilograms. Think very carefully about this response, and don't forget to look at the meter distance from where the fulcrum point is on the triangle. So how much weight is required to balance the load? Question number five. Which tank will not empty? Tank A, tank B, or both the same? Which tank will not empty? And the trick there is to look at the valves on where they're positioned. OK, question number six. At what point would the beam balance? Is it point A, point B or point C? At what point would the beam balance? OK, the next mechanical reasoning test question for the mock exam is question seven. And at what point would you need to place weight X in order for the scales to balance? Is it A? B or C. And don't forget you're going to be putting your answers to all of the questions in the comments section below the video, please. So at what point would you need to balance X in order for the scales to balance? Question eight. Which weight requires the least amount of force? A, both the same. B, A or C, B. So which weight requires the least amount of force? Question number nine. Which is the most suitable tool for breaking up concrete? One, two, three, or four. The most suitable tool for breaking up concrete. And now question 10. How much force is required to lift the 75 kilogram weight? 15 kilograms, 37.5, 75 or 150. How much force is required to lift the weight? OK, well done, guys. To get more mechanical reasoning test questions and resources, click the link below the video in the description and you go through to a page where you can, you can download a mechanical reasoning um, concepts guide and you'll get access to free tests thereafter. Um, please don't forget, give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to put all your answers in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel. I've been Richard McMahon from howtobecome.com and um, I look forward to teaching you again soon. Thank you very much.